Hi everybody, welcome to Sober Healing. I realized that this is gonna be my second year completely sober as of December 23rd, and that's in one more month, okay? Now, the reason why I'm on here now is because the holidays are here, and I wanna talk to the people that are now thinking of quitting or have just quit recently or within this year, and this is their first holiday season that they have to work around without alcohol. My whole thing with sober healing was I really wanted people to see because I knew once I had no alcohol in my body that things were gonna go up. I had, I had done enough research and talked to enough, enough people and went online and watched other people's stories to see the transformations in their lives. And I have completely transformed since I quit drinking, okay? And I believe that now, because it's so fresh, and my remembrance was not, it was not an easy first holiday. That's why I'm here, okay? I wanna go over some things with you. Last year, I was sad. If you go back to the December uh, of 2022 and watch the videos, there was one very sad one on there, and I believe it was Christmas Day. I dressed up and I hung around here and I did my own thing because I knew that I could not be around people who were drinking alcohol. So I missed all the parties, all the stuff. One year later, which is gonna be my second year now coming up, I am having a blast and I am doing things. Now, granted, I'm still not gonna to go to the parties with alcohol at night, but I have already been invited and, and done a bunch of stuff during the day. And I'm going to be doing the same thing at Christmas. See, you've already watched Sober Healing enough to see how I have transformed, right? I mean, between the between my saving a cat out of the woods that totally changed me, creating two CDs, The Journey and Transformed, creating a deck of cards called God Heals Cards, which got me closer to God and the Bible, um, joining groups. I'm now doing yoga and dance and of course my non-drinking friends groups. Those, that's three times a week. I'm busy, busy. I still continue my growth with God every single day and I'm doing a ton of self-care stuff now, okay? I, I, I take time for myself between my meditations and my walks and my tubs. <laughs> I make sure I get all that in, okay? So these are proactive moves that I have made, but I am not the only one. The minute you start quitting drinking and you get over the initial six months of, you know, adjusting the body, adjusting your food, adjusting your thought pattern, just adjusting everything. Once you get through those first six months, it's all uphill. And I, I gotta tell you, it's, that those first six months is, is brutal. And that's why there's so much help out there because a lot of people want to quit drinking and there's so many people that want to help you. You don't need to be alone. Now that we have the internet, my God, you could stay home and you could get on the internet and you can have all kinds of gatherings with people that don't drink alcohol. It's amazing. You just, it's a, there's so many things out there. There's groups that you can join off of Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, you can go to YouTube and just punch it in that you wanna listen to people's stories. I personally started at the one year point with this channel. It was about a month before the one year, okay? So you didn't see me. And I'm honestly, I don't think I could have even been online. I was not well for the first three months of quitting drinking. I also think a lot of people need medical help. I did not do it. I did it my way. Okay, so I'm glad I wasn't on here because <laughs> it was rough, but it doesn't have to be that rough for you or you can get help, medical help, and that will help get through things, I'm sure, much easier for you. Okay, don't expect everything to be like it was, okay? Please don't think that, that you can just jump into your outfit and go out and have the same kind of great time without alcohol as with alcohol. I know you're probably, you know that, but all I'm saying is if you have to not go, if your mind is telling you, 
I don't think I should go because I know I'm not going to be able to get through the night possibly without drinking. Do you think it's worth, if let's say you made it six months, do you think it's worth one night of being tested that you might go back to drinking? I mean, it's one night. You know what I mean? I, I had to stay home because I couldn't take that chance. You know, I'm in a whole different state right now than I was then. So, please guys, trust yourself to know at least that. If, 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 you, can't, if you can't get through an evening without drinking alcohol and you're going to a place where they're drinking alcohol, I don't think that's a good idea. That's my personal opinion. What are you doing? You know, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And when Christmas comes around, just remember, it's only Christmas. You know what I mean? It's about God, and it doesn't have to be a big, huge party. It can be a quiet uh, time for yourself if, if you quit drinking. And same thing with New Year's Eve. I haven't been out in New Year's Eve in years. I don't, people still go out on New Year's Eve. I haven't done that. So whether I was drinking or whether I was not drinking, I don't go out on New Year's. Okay, I go to bed, I don't see the ball, I don't really care. I just wanna wake up and know that it's the first of the year with my new goals. So I don't participate in New Year's Eve at all. Didn't affect me with or without drinking. Okay, so it was basically Christmas. And it was, a, you know, it was, a, it was a shame that I had to feel that bad about it. And, but it, again, it was one day and I thought, oh well, you know, I got all dressed up and hung around the house. So, <laughs> so anyway, I'm just, I just didn't even want to hop off here because I just feel that somebody, I can feel somebody out there really needs somebody, you know, and I want to just be there. Sometimes you just want to listen to somebody who's been through it and understands. So I don't know. I just wish I could. I wish I could see everybody out there that is trying to, you know, get through this, because it's not easy. And I will be praying for all of you. I may jump on Christmas Day and just, you know, be there for anybody who would like to comment. Maybe we'll do a live, my first live. Let's try that on Christmas Day. All right. All right, you guys. Sleep well tonight. Take care. Good night.